but never with a heart so full of sorrow as upon this night of his last agony. At this moment, he seemed to be shut out of the light of God's sustaining presence. The guilt of fallen humanity he must bear. Upon him who knew no sin must be laid the iniquity of us all. So dreadful does sin appear to him, so great is the weight of sin he must bear, that he's tempted to fear that it will shut him forever out of his Father's love. Feeling how terrible is the wrath of God against transgression, every step that he now took was with labored effort. He groaned aloud as if suffering under the pressure of a terrible burden. Twice his companions supported him when he would have fallen to the ground. My soul is overrun with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and pray with me. Pray that you will not fall into temptation. Please take this cup of suffering from me. Nevertheless, Lord, not my will, may yours be done. James, John, couldn't you stay awake for even one hour to pray with me? Pray that you will not fall into temptation. Your spirit is willing, but your body is weak. Pray. suffering may not pass from me unless I drink it. And your will be done. Son of God, the creator of the world. You know best what is in the hearts of 
Man. These people are liars. Cheers. Thieves. They oppress and destroy all those that they were meant to care for. They kill their own brothers. So Jesus, tell me, is one more death going to make any difference to them? The human race doesn't deserve such a sacrifice. Come, Jesus. Look. Look at those that you call friend. At the time when you need them most, Jesus, what are they doing? They're sleeping. Are these the ones that you want to die for? Jesus, they don't love you. And neither does the Father for allowing you to suffer in this way. Anything is possible for you. Please provoke this bitter cup of suffering. But if this is the only way for us to save man, then I'm willing to do whatever you want me to do. <laughs> save man! Jesus, save man! For what? These people will continue to pursue their own dreams, their own desires, and they will reject you. Man throughout all time will ignore your gift. Your death, Jesus, will be meaningless. People will claim to be your followers, but they will lock you out of their hearts forever. People will say that they love you, Jesus, but by their actions show that they love only themselves. Let me paint you a picture, Jesus. You are going to be tried as a criminal. They're going to beat you, mock you. They're going to spit in your face. They're going to hang you on a tree to die. And then, without so much as a second thought, they will go about their lives as if nothing ever happened. Jesus, Man knows nothing of love. Man cares nothing for your love. They've chosen Jesus. They've chosen me. You're wasting your love on them. Did we waste our love on you? Come on. Mm. Come on, Jesus. Father, anything is possible for you.
this is what I must do. And not my will, but yours be done. Lucifer! Enough! Yes, sir! <laughs> Look at all the souls that will be saved because of your suffering. I have come to assure you that your father is greater and more powerful than Satan. Through your sacrifice, sin will be destroyed and God's kingdom will be given to his followers.